used to get super frustrated with myself because no matter how much I studied, it would never work out. In freshman year, when I took those heavy memorization courses, I dreaded sitting down, taking those notes from those textbooks and create outlines that never really ended up with great results. In this video, I will provide some of the tips and tricks that I used to survive college, and hopefully these little snippets could help you as well. After one of my big exams, I didn't do so well. I got a low grade and I went to my professor and I asked for help. I couldn't wrap my mind around writing every single note from the textbook and still performing pretty suboptimal. So my professor asked me, how did you study? told him that I highlighted all the notes, I reviewed my textbook, and I tried to review as much as possible with the time given. I went through everything until I felt familiar with it. So tip number one is remember that you're capable of learning. Make sure that you test yourself with questions that you create from the content that is given to you during the lecture. Convert some of the main points from the text into questions, and when you review it, try to answer those questions with your own words. Why should we test ourselves? Well, testing ourselves pushes our brains to learn more because we interrupt this process of forgetting. Delaying the subsequent retrieval practice is actually more potent for learning and remembering than immediate practice. This effortful retrieval after spacing out some of the practice sessions actually goes a long way for you to remember everything. Tip number two, in addition to making these test questions for yourself or even having questions that are already formatted for you, it's important to have interleave practice. Interleave practice means setting method one, then three, then two, then four, then repeating. Interestingly, previous studies have found that interleaving practice or mixing methods of problem solving has actually increased performance by 215%. That's pretty remarkable. Which one did you get? Yeah. Yeah. Spicy. What are we doing? Oh. My next point is hug the difficulties, embrace them. Feeling confident with our knowledge and demonstrating mastery are two different phenomena. After testing yourself with practice questions, this allows you to face the errors that you've made. Sometimes when I practice with questions, I count how many errors that I made and feel pretty upset about it. I then realize that it's actually a great guideline to the topics that you need to review in the future sessions. The things I make her do. <laughs> Once I collected all my errors, I made a list and I reviewed them either through watching the lectures again or going through the textbook and practicing with a different set of questions. I would do this until I felt pretty confident with the knowledge and share it with other people in layman terms.
pretty important to note that after facing these difficulties, these mental obstacles, to always take a rest, maybe sip some water, take a walk, allow your brain to rest a little bit. And you probably already know this, but you know, sometimes meditating could also work for your attention span and focus as well. My hat with me. Oh, hello. Thank you. <laughs> now, after knowing about the theories, how do we actually put it in practice? A tool that can automatically create these space repetitions is called Anki. I use Anki to study for MCAT as well as a lot of my college courses and I really saw a difference after continuously and repeatedly using Anki as a testing tool for my studies. think intelligence is. Intelligence is so hard to measure. There's so many different forms of intelligence. There's logical or mathematical intelligence. There's intrapersonal, interpersonal intelligence. What to do and in someone's driveway. Linguistic, kinesthetic, I can go on and on. Now I list all of these because I want you to know that if you've recently done poorly on an exam, I'm here to tell you that everything will be okay. You have a mix of intelligences and a little tweak in our learning habit could really go a long way. You will do much, much better on the next exam. I'm sure that you will turn everything around and I wish you best of luck.